undefeated, reigning and defending WBA and IBO light heavyweight champion of the world, Dimitri Bevo. And now let's welcome the undefeated reigning and defending ring magazine, WBC, WBO, and IBF unified light heavyweight champion of the world, Arthur Beterbiev. <laughs> It's all about me. Let's welcome in um, the current WBA and IBO champion, unbeaten Dimitri Bivol. Uh, Dimitri, it's been an incredible journey so far. Um, topped off, I think, by that Canelo victory in Las Vegas. He then followed it up with the Zerdo Ramirez performance as well. Two very, very good fighters. Canelo at the time, arguably, maybe pound for pound, number one. But this is the fight you've been wanting and asking for for a few years now. Was it just because it was undisputed or was it you wanted to find this uh, sport? And uh, he has this belt and uh, I'm so appreciate to Saudi, uh, to his excellency that he made this fight. He's making this fight happen. I am so appreciate to my team, uh, Vadim Kornilov, to my promoters, uh, Eddie Hearn, uh, Frank Smith, uh, Andrei Rybinski, everyone was uh, wanted to make this fight also. And of course to Arthur Bitterby, thank you uh, for making this fight uh, also. And uh, this is my goal when I came to pro boxing. Of course uh, I put uh, my target that I need to be the best in uh, in where, what, where I'm doing uh, in light heavyweight division, I have to be the best. And this is the final, final fight for, to prove myself. What would it mean to become undisputed? It isn't just the belts that we see now, it's the ring magazine title as well. It's every single belt in boxing. What would it mean come October 12th, around midnight, for you to have all those belts around your waist, carrying them all around your arms? Uh, what it means for me. I'm in boxing since six uh, years old. Uh, all my journey, uh, I was uh, working hard. I sacrificed a lot. And uh, this is like final step. Did I do everything right or not? And uh, I want to make it like I did everything right. Uh, also, incredible record, right? No. World champion has your record. You've knocked out everyone or stopped everyone that you fought. You're expected to do the same by many in your team as well. But talk to me about becoming undisputed and what it would mean for you. Hello, everybody. Uh, first of all, I want to uh, thank you uh, for uh, season Ariad, for excellency to make it happen in this fight, for uh, my company top rank, Queensberry, for my opponent company, my opponent, for everyone. Uh, it's mean like, you know, when you, um, it's top of uh, meaning in professional boxing when you have uh, four belts, you know, <laughs> and that's it. I want to win another fourth one. Does it matter that the opponent is Dimitri Bivol? Could it have been anyone here? Or does it mean something extra special that it is someone that you've known for so many years in Dimitri Bivol? Can you repeat? I didn't. I mean, does it matter that the opponent is Dimitri or does it mean something special that it is Dimitri because you've known Dimitri for so long? Uh, if I understand, because I hear not very well here. Um, if I understand, uh, every opponent is different. I think so. It's like every uh, person is different. That's why he's, he is too. But we have, uh, we prepared for, for this fight, some different scenarios, you know, to be ready for, for everything. I have to ask, it'd be remiss of me if I didn't ask about the injury. It, it was, it seemed from the outside to be a big injury. Fully recovered, we are going to see a 100% Arto Baturbiev, no excuses. Uh, yes, uh, because uh, I did, 
I always do preparation for 100%. If I'm not there, I don't want to do like, I mean, for half is, is not for me. Okay, I, I know you're a man of very few words, so I, I will ask you for a prediction. I mean, again, so far, no one has gone the distance with you. Do you expect to go the distance October 12th? I never did prediction, but, uh, you know, and I never uh, want to knock him out someone, you know. It's happened, happened like, uh, I always uh, more focus for different details, you know, like to prepare, to, to do good things. It mean for me, good things. And again, for both of you, so far so good, two unbeaten fighters. This is what we want, right? The best meet and the best undisputed, everything on the line, and it will be on the line, not just for these fighters, but everyone on this card as well. Eubank Jr. is going to raise it with him. I don't think he'll have a fight with him about it. But Arthur Betterbeer, looking cool, looking composed, looking every part of the unified world like heavyweight champion. And these two both moved so, so quick as pros, didn't they? Bivol, when he was 11 and 0, 12 and 0, became a world champion. Better be if I remember. I was a bit obsessed with him when he turned pro because I'd seen him in the amateurs and he ended up in Canada, which I didn't really expect. Loads of people were after him and he moved quick. I remember commentating on him smashing Devoris Cloud to pieces when he was about 4, 5 and 0. And Devoris Cloud was you know, a very experienced fighter. And after that, he was difficult to match. But you knew that he couldn't be stopped. He was kind of waiting for the Kovalev Andre Ward situation to play out. And then once it had, there was no holding him back. He had that amazing fight with Kovostik, which is probably one of the biggest, best.